Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving and what we're going to do now is we are going to do a fuel consumption test for the Audi A5 Sportback Okay, for your information, we are somewhere near Tasik Putri in Rawang area and we are going to join the old road to Vestari Jaya and we're going to do a fuel consumption test on this Audi Okay, we're going to turn left So I've just set the meter to zero the consumption meter for short term memory and we have just gone 400 meters and it already shows 12.1 12 point something yeah 11.5 liters per 100 kilometers now we are using the old road uh, to Bestari Jaya just to let you have a feel of the car on a kind of like mixed surface okay just for your information we have a very powerful car here it is uh, 249 PS from a 2 liter turbocharged engine and it has a 7 speed automatic transmission which I think is a direct clutch uh, sorry which I think is a dual clutch transmission DCT and we have all-wheel drive so this is actually a very very powerful car and we're going to try to check what kind of fuel consumption it will give to us now there are five driving modes and we are now in the Efficiency mode, which also has um, what you call uh, coast function. Okay, just to check, we are efficiency, and when you lift off the accelerator, it also uh, will free your gears. But the moment you step on the brake or you accelerate again, it will re-engage. So this is a coasting function uh, that is standard in a lot of cars in the Audi group, and uh, it helps to save a lot of fuel. Anyway, we've only got 1.6 kilometers and we are showing 12.3 liters per 100 kilometers. And uh, so, what speed are we going? We are going at the speed of the car that is in front of us. We're just following that car and just doing what he is doing, what normal people would do on a road like this. Except that he is braking, I'm not. On the road too there's a monkey on the left sorry okay so this is the scenic route from Rawang heading towards Bestari Jaya there's a very nice driving road I think I've done this road before in another video but I cannot remember what car it was Yeah. 
Ireland, we're going at about a little bit over a thousand RPM. We're going at 55 kilometers, 57 kilometers per hour, and we are showing 9.6 liters per hundred kilometers. That means we're getting more than 10 kilometers per liter already. And we have done 4.6 kilometers, I think. Yes, 4.7 kilometers. And of course, this car is really, really very quiet when you're driving slow. And you've got all-wheel drive, so handling is really good. Ooh, that was nice. Monkey on the road again. <laughs> Consumption now is about 9 liters per 100. We have gone 5.4 kilometers. So, guys, on this type of road, uh, because you're not going in top gear and you're go not going very fast, and there's some acceleration required, the fuel consumption will not be as good as though you're on a highway. On a highway where you get more consistent driving and consistent throttle pressure, you will get much better fuel consumption. Just, just for your information, there are three people in the car. We have a beautiful lady at the back. She's keeping very quiet and I have my Lai Chong here with me in the car. We are going to Kuala Selangor to buy fish for the weekend. Yes, it's a weekend and we are on the way to Kuala Selangor using this old road to go and buy fish. So at the back of the car, I have an ice box. in the front oh very good we are now showing 8.7 liters per hundred this is such a surprise right the car that's 249 PS giving this type of fuel consumption and this car if I'm not mistaken the weight will be around 1.6 or 1.7 tons just because it's got an all-wheel drive system and this is a D segment sedan or sport bag one of the nicest cars you can get very luxurious, full leather seats, all wheel drive, 370 newton meters of torque, 7 speed, dual clutch transmission, multi link suspension front and back, and right now we are showing 8.5 meters per 100 kilometers. Fantastic. Okay, that costs a bit of fuel, it's 9.1 and drop back to 9.0 and this is a very very nice road, very smooth and we have average 49 kilometers per hour through that stage, not too bad and it's dropped to 8.8, 8.7 .8, We've gone 8.9 kilometers. And we're going at 98 kilometers per hour. <laughs> ah, there's my friend's farm on the right. I think they are lies farm. Yes. Very nice place. Limit is 
90 km per hour. We're going to try to hit 90 with increasing speed. 92 km per hour. Yeah, this is the entrance to the farm. So we have 8.1 liters per 100 kilometers. So like I said earlier, you have to hit a kind of like a critical or sweet spot in the speed so that you can be in top gear. Like now you can see we are on D7 and the driving mode is on efficiency. So this is possibly the speed at which the car is most economical or maybe it's around 90. And you can see now our RPM is a little bit over a thousand rpm yeah about 1500 rpm which means you're getting about 60 kilometers for per hour for every 1000 rpm that we're going so the seventh gear is quite uh, what you call a high efficiency gear that gives you a lot of speed for a little bit of rpm so we're climbing a bit of a hill but we have got 7.8 liters per 100. Wow, that's actually very, very, very good. We have done 12.4 kilometers. And on our left is the Slango Fruits Valley, which is also another famous place uh, where there are lots of fruit trees and it's very well cultivated. So this area is very, very nice for a Sunday drive. to lift off the, on the accelerator and you can see now uh, the speed is 103 kilometers per hour but you see the engine rpm is below 1000 this is actually in coasting mode where the engine and the gearbox are disengaged from each other and the car is just kind of free wheeling down the road and uh, of course if you brake or if you accelerate it will disconnect but now my foot is off the accelerator and the car is just freewheeling and of course we got four wheel drive uh, even though it's not driving the car the tires are very nice and they are actually gripping the road very well so this car actually has got very very good grip and now it is time to accelerate again and you can see now the gear engages itself automatically and we are now going at 87 kilometers per hour and the engine is pulling at about 1300 rpm and we are showing 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers and our average speed has gone up to 61 kilometers per hour we have done 15.3 so guys this is an indication of how economical this car can be and it's actually a tribute to continental engine tuning technology of course, having said that, uh, please uh, be mindful that this is based on the instrumentation as provided by the car maker. Uh, we are running it based on the instruments that you see on board and the calculations are done by the instruments on board. Whether it is calibrated to the exact degree, I have no idea. So what you see is what you get. got 7.2 okay so the motor fuel consumption in the brochure of the car shows 7.1 and oh my we are showing 7.0 okay so this is the achievement unlocked of course uh, our distance is still very very short we only gone 17.3 kilometers and we are already doing a little bit better than the mooted fuel consumption the 7.1 we are showing 7.0 not bad and we've done 17.5 so what we're going to do is we're going to go to about 30 kilometers and see whether we can hold this 7.0 or 7.1 our distance now is 
17.9 just checking yes it's still recording so this car has got five driving modes of course the there are four uh, which is efficiency then there's comfort then there's auto dynamic and the last one is individual so the individual one allows you a limited amount of tune that you can customize the parameters according to your liking okay we are stopped at the traffic light on the right is the junction that takes us to Tanjung Gala no on the right it goes to Bukit Taga and joins back the highway to Ipoh and on the straight we are going towards Tanjung Karang and in front of us a few hundred meters there is a junction on the left that takes us back to Elmina Estate and Kuala uh, and Sungai Bulo. If we go straight we're going to hit Kampung Kuantan and then we will get to Ijok, right? Mm. Yes. My navigator here is telling me because he is from this area. Light is green. We have stopped here for about 40 seconds, I think. And that affected our fuel consumption a bit. It's 7.1. But we've only got 18.8 kilometers, so it is still a bit sensitive. In order to get something consistent, you've got to go between 30 to 40 kilometers, I think. But anyway, uh, we don't want to bore you with the details. Just want to show you what is possible. Now, in front of us, there's this place called Kestari Jaya it used to be called Batang Bajuntai. Uh, then they changed the name to Kestari Jaya. And there's another traffic light in the front and a BHP station on our right. Yes, this is the main station in Kestari Jaya. And it's a BHP, one of our favorite stations. Okay, we are showing 7.1 and the traffic light is red again. So going through traffic lights is actually very very detrimental to your fuel consumption but it's a part of life and it just so happens to be in our path so we will just live with it right? Okay, okay we have done 19.3 kilometers per hour. Uh, in distance and we are now waiting for the light to turn green and we are going changed the last 30 years, 40 years that I've been here. This used to be one of the stops in our rally days uh, where we would have like the midnight stop it would be around here and we'd be on the road there servicing our cars and some of the coffee shops would stay open so that we can have some coffee. So this place has old memories for us. Okay, we have shown a bit of uh, downside on our fuel consumption. It has got worse. We are now having 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That's because of the slow traffic and also the traffic light in the city. Plus, we have this car in front of us that is going really, really slow. And I think we have overtaken him on the left. Because we have done 20 kilometers, it's going to take a while to recover from this 7.5. Now we are 7.4, and we have a truck that's turning right. Thank you very much. And we will just gradually build up the speed. It's 
back to 7.5 but hopefully they can build up the speed and get better consumption yes going slow is not good for fuel consumption if your car has a 7 speed gearbox yes okay now we are back and you should start seeing some improvement we're going at 87 kilometers per hour 90 is the speed limit so we we'll just keep it under the speed limit so at 90 kilometers per hour our engine is pulling at about 1250 rpm around there not bad maybe it's thousand i lift off and we are on coasting mode Catching up on this motorbike. <coughs> yeah, road here is a bit bumpy because the foundations are not that good. Kuala <laughs> Selangor, 17 kilometers. Oh, that's very near. Distance is 23 kilometers and we have 7.4. Okay, we will retain our target at 30 kilometers and whatever reading we get at 30 kilometers distance will be the final number. So I have another 7 kilometers bring it down and it's down to 7.3 so anyway this is just a fun project and what you see is what you get right yeah so what we do with fuel consumption videos is we try not to edit anything away so you have a full view of whatever happened during our test run including all the traffic jams all the foul language all the people who block us and so on and so forth so there's no editing so you can see exactly how we do and what we do and we have gone 25 kilometers another five kilometers to go before we get to the end of our fuel consumption test run and there's another monkey on the road ah he just ran away okay so we have done 25.6 and we are down to 7.3 which is not bad considering we are running with aircon on and this is the b road of course we are still running in efficiency mode there is a uh, comfort auto dynamic and four other modes for you to choose from but of course if you want to check the fuel consumption and if you want good consumption this is the mode that you go and it's still quite powerful we are now going at 95 kilometers per hour and we are showing 7.3 and we have done 26.6 kilometers Okay guys, 27 kilometers coming up now and we are doing 7.3 liters per 100 Which is actually very very remarkable for a car of this power And it's down to 7.2 and we've done 27.7 kilometers Consistent speed of 93, 92 kilometers per hour and holding steady throttle. Okay, I'm going to lift off. Let's see, lift her up and immediately it goes into coasting mode. And the speed is slowly dropping, but okay, we will continue holding at 87 and we are showing 7.1. And our distance now is 28.7. Another 1.3, 1.2 kilometers to go. 
to hit our 30 kilometers and our final reading on the fuel consumption 29 kilometers7, 7 .0, 29.8 29.9 and yes 30 kilometers yes we've gone 30 km and our fuel consumption is 7.0 liters per hundred all right guys that's our final result 7 liters per hundred kilometers done over 30 kilometers thanks for being with us and thank you for watching our video and of course if you need to buy this car do contact us eh, at uh, 016-335-0609 thanks very much for being with us and bye bye